Former Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Kasyanov said that Vladimir Putin's confidence was starting to be lost regarding the war in Ukraine. From an undisclosed location in Europe, Kasyanov said the Russian president may have been misled by his generals about the state of war. Kasyanov served as Putin's first prime minister from 2000 to 2004 before being sacked. He later formed an opposition party and ran for president in 2008. Kasyanov became an outspoken opponent and now lives in exile. He told DW that Putin was not speaking from a position of strength, even appearing a little nervous during a military parade speech he gave to commemorate Victory Day. In his speech, Putin accused Ukraine of possessing nuclear weapons and that the country was led by neo Nazis. Putin said an invasion was the only right step, adding that the West was planning to attack Russia. Putin's reactions and speeches were really weak, Kasyanov said, adding Putin has begun to realize that he has lost this war. Putin was misled by insiders Kasyanov supports the widely held theory of how Putin's inner circle is hiding information or not giving him the full picture of the state of the war because they are afraid to deliver bad news. I believe he was misled, he said, still from DW. Kasyanov added that Putin believes his troops are in excellent condition and that the invasion will take very little time. It all comes weeks after Russia withdrew from Kyiv and refocused its energies on the east of the country. With Russia suffering several defeats on the battlefield, Kasyanov warned that Putin was likely to push the conflict into a new phase. Now we enter another stage, competition, economic potential, military potential, he said, noting that the decision by Western countries to send heavy weapons to Ukraine would give Kyiv a decisive advantage going forward. Russian President Vladimir Putin has been accused of damaging the Russian economy through his failed war in Ukraine. This is what a Russian oligarch says in a recording obtained by New Lines magazine.